How to recover from an infinitely looping startup repair loop without reinstalling Windows. Recovering your system. Boot to the system recovery option screen. If Windows automatically opens startup repair and subsequently fails to fix a problem, you can skip ahead to step 4 below. In the system recovery option screen, click startup repair. Windows will search for an attempt to repair startup problems. If startup problems could not be repaired, you will receive the message, Windows cannot repair this computer automatically. Click View Advanced Options for System Recovery and Support. Click View Advanced Options for System Recovery and Support, which which bring you back to the main System Recovery Options screen. Click Command Prompt. Command prompt should open to X, which is an internal RAM disk used by system repair. Now you need to find your system drive. Depending on how your system is set up, this could be either C or D. Type C and press less than enter greater than. Verify that this is your system drive by typing DIR and pressing less than enter greater than. If you see the program files, Users and Windows folders, then you have found your system drive, and can continue to step 9 below. If the drive is not your system drive, repeat steps I and 2 above, changing the drive letter to D, E or some other letter, until the system drive is located. When you have located your Windows system drive, type 400, Windows, System 32, config and press less than enter greater than. Type the IR and press less than enter greater than, and verify that the following files and folders exist in the config folder, regback, which is a folder, default, SAM, security, software, system, type 1500 my backup and press less than enter greater than to create a backup folder that you can use in case this procedure does not work as expected. Type copy asterisk. Asterisk my backup and press less than enter greater than. If you are prompted to overwrite existing files, press A to allow all backups to be overwritten. Now you need to check if you can use the automatic Windows backups to restore your registry. Type 400 reg back and press less than enter greater than to go to the reg back folder. Type the IR and press less than enter greater than to view the contents of the folder. All the following files must exist. The default, SAM and security files should each be about 262.000 bytes in size. The software file should be about 26.000. 000 bytes. The system file should be about 9, 900, 000 bytes. The file sizes presented here are approximate estimations, and may vary depending on your system. If any one of them are 0 bytes, then you should stop what you're doing now and seek an alternative method of recovering your system because Windows cannot function with a zero byte size registry hive. If the hive files listed in regback are okay, then proceed to step 14 of the tutorial. Type copy asterisk, asterisk, and press less than enter greater than to copy the backup hive files to Windows System32 config. If you are prompted to overwrite existing files, press A to allow all file to be overwritten. Type exit and press less than enter greater than to close the command prompt. Click the restart button to reboot your computer. If all goes well, your system will boot normally.